In the previous section, we set up the entry logic for our scalper algo. In this section, we will test this logic in a simulated market. We will use the title bar's algo controls to start and reset our algo simulation. We will view our running algo simulation in both ADL and TT, and we will test our algos using different user-defined values. We can test algos directly within ADL using the play, pause, and reset buttons in the title bar. We can also open a TT workspace within the simulation environment to see our algo in action. Here we have a TT workspace with an MD trader set to our algo's updated default instrument, the eMini S&P September 18 contract, and the default account as defined in our algo's instrument block. We also have an audit trail widget that will let us see a record of our algo's activity. Back in ADL, we verify that our algo has compiled recently to make sure that all of our changes have been applied, and then we can click Play to start our algo simulation. We can see in TT that our algo has submitted a 5-lot buy order at the best bid. We see our working order in MD Trader and a new order message in our audit trail. Over in ADL, we see that our order block's working quantity output port is emitting a value of 5. As the best bid changes, which we can see in MD Trader and in the value displayed next to our best bid field block, our algo reprices our order to the new best bid. Once our order fills, we see our simulated position in our MD Trader, and we see that the working quantity port of our order block has returned to zero. We click the back button on the title bar in ADL to reset the algo simulation. Within the information panel, we have a variables tab that provides fields for entering values for blocks with an input set to user defined. The instrument value can't be changed once an algo begins running, so we will use the default instrument. This time, let's test our algo with a value of 10 instead of the default value of five. We enter 10 and click apply. When we press play to start our algo again, we can see that our algo submits a 10 lot into the market at the best bid. We can also simulate changes made to the algo's variables while the algo is running. We change the value of our entry order quantity to seven and press apply. As expected, the working order quantity in the simulated order changes to seven. We have verified our entry order logic, which is intended to place an order for a quantity defined by the user and work that order at the best bid, is working as intended. In this section, we used the title bar's algo controls. We pressed play to launch our algo in a simulated environment. We pressed back to reset the algo once our testing was complete. We viewed our running algo in both ADL and TT. We monitored the changing block outputs in ADL, and we saw how our order behaved in the trading environment. We tested our algos with different variables. We used the information panel's variable tab to set values before launching our algo, and we adjusted values while the algo was running. The next step in our scalper algo is to capture the price and quantity of our entry fill and use it to define the parameters of our exit order. 